In this video, we're going to talk about slicing, which is taking parts from some array over here and putting it into some array, some place in some array over here. The thing is, is that both of these pieces have to be the same size. So the part I'm slicing uh, from has to be the same part I'm slicing to. And so if you keep that in mind, uh, things should be okay. Over in MATLAB, I'm going to assign, I'm going to define two arrays, one uh, A, which is just a uh, five by five array of zeros, and one B, which is a three by three array of numbers. And what I'm going to do as illustration here is place either all or parts of this of, of array B into array A. And so my first on line nine here, my first one, I have. I have um, A indexed at 1, 3, so rows 1 through 3, columns 1 through 3 um, are going to equal B. Well, now let's look at this. Keep in mind, B is a 3 by 3. So does this make sense? Well, yes, I have three rows and three columns here. And so what parts of vector A is this going to target? Well. Um, if we come in here and we look at, it's a 5 by 5, 1, 2, 3, here. So this is column 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, rows 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And so I fill this in with zeros. And so this is vector A, I mean, excuse me, array A. And so I'm going to be filling in rows 1 through 3, columns 1 through 3, which is this area here. Okay, and so I'm going to take B, which is a 3 by 3, and I'm take B, I'm going to stick all those values of B into that 3 by 3. Once again, these are the same size, so this will work. So when I execute this, uh, notice we've changed A because A is on the left-hand side of the equal sign. Uh, we've changed A. Um, and what that what A is now is the upper left hand corner, row three, column, the intersection of rows three and columns three wind up being the same values as B. So uh, that's that example. Comment that out. And then let's run this next example when now we're targeting instead of one three, we're targeting two four. And so instead of these locations. We're targeting the intersection of 2, 3, and 4 because that's 2 colon 4. And then rows 2, 3, and 4. So we're these rows intersecting with these columns 2, 3, and 4. So that's this area in here we're targeting. And once again this is still a 3 by 3 so B should fit nicely. And when I do this you notice now B is stuck in the middle of A in these, in these element locations here. Um, on line 11, and I do it, show it once again. Now it's the intersection of rows 3, 4, and 5 with columns 3, 4, and 5. Well, 3, 4, and 5 rows are the lower three rows, 3, 4, and 5 columns are the rightmost three columns. And so now you get this. It's still a 3 by 3. It's the same size as B. And so when I run this, you notice now the elements in B have gotten sliced into this portion of A. So next up, uh, doesn't have to be 3 by 3, we're going to take parts of B, and now I'm going to go ahead and write B so we can see uh, its parts, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, and 99. Okay, so now um, I'm looking at I'm looking at um, two colon three, comma four colon five for A, and B. I'm taking one colon two, comma one colon two. So let's see the intersection of two three with four and five is over here. Rows two and three intersect with columns four and five over here. 
Now, is B the same size? Yes, because I'm doing the intersection of 1 and 2, rows 1 and 2, and columns 1 and 2 over here in B. So that's this part over here. So this part over here will get sliced into that location in A. So when I run this, you notice I've replaced that 2x2 two two section in A with this 2x2 two two section here from B. Okay. Now, they don't have to be contiguous. Um, you can get something like this. Um, and this one's a little funky, so let me erase this and sort of clean up my board here so we can understand it. So now what we're doing is we're doing, let's say, we're doing A, 1 colon 2 colon 5, comma, 1 colon 2 colon 5, equals B, just all of B. So this must be a 3 by 3. So let's look at it. 1 colon 2 colon 5 is rows 1, 3, and 5, and columns 1, 3, and 5 in this case. And so the intersection of rows 1, 3, and 5 with columns 1, 3, and 5 give you uh, this value here, this value here, and this value here, as well as rows 1, 3, and 5. So if we choose columns 1, 3, and 5 from rows 1, 3, and 5. And so now it's sort of spread out. But notice we're replacing a 3 by 3 over here, although it's spread out, with a 3 by 3 over here. So when I execute this, you notice the values of B, array B, get spread out to these locations in array A. So you can do a lot of creative things with this um, if necessary. So this is how you slice from one array to another.